This is Nika in point, yeah? Yes. How many hours from now? Oh, this is waypoint 10. Nika. Waypoint 10. Select your waypoint 10. So this is showing with, you with this speed, 9 July 6th morning. Uh, okay, so 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, yeah? Yeah. So we will arrive here in Ica. Yes. Okay, so... So here. Still here. Yeah. And, and we are here. Right? Yes. Okay. So... 6 hours... 9 hours more. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. No, right. Okay, by this with this speed, but can increase or decrease because it's changing. You see, by the soil is changing 10.4, 10.5, ah, okay. sometimes increasing okay. 10.9. So we are going minimum. We cannot set. Hello, everyone. Maybe you already understand what we are going to see in this video. Yes, we are going to see the few noise chain over procedures. We need to prepare the fuel before you chain over. But we fill up all the tanks with temperature required. Uh, purifier uh, five hours, six hours before we yeah. chain over. Now you are filling up this uh, satellite tank. Yes, now I'm filling up the satellite tank. But anyway, service so tank already full. All right, 85 degrees. So, before uh, calculation for four bars, we have to check this uh, fuel consumption, instant consumption. This uh, showing the consumption of main engine uh, per hours, so we know how much the fuel oil consumption per hours. Uh, same for the DZ, you also can see how much uh, consumption per hour for DZ. Yeah. Any house, if the vessel does not uh, have this device, you can take uh, photometers and calculate how much uh, fuel consumption per hour for generators and main engine. Then now we are going to use this uh, four bus calculators. This program is uh, brewed by noise resistor, so we are on board. You can ask the office to send the latest versions of this program. Simply, you just fill up the required information, then this program will give you the terms for chain over fuel. The most important uh, data you have to input here is the system fuel quantity so we have to get from the official documents mentioned about this quantity of fuel noise in the system remaining uh, sample contents of used oil and new oil is need to be filled up after that you will know how many hours required for the chain over Basically, the completion of turnover should be finished before entering the ECA areas. For example, here our system requires eight hours to be completed chaining over. So I always started earlier, 30 minutes or one hour, so I can make it uh, nine hours or ten hours to be completely uh, washing with new oils before arrival the ECA. For the boilers, our vessel is not required to chain over because on the terms, this system using the no sulfur fuel oil. Uh, for the generators, uh, the calculation is the same with the main engine. However, the consumption of generator is very small, so it requires uh, much times to chain over so we have to chain over this uh, more earlier so first thing what we have to do we have to change the sulfur content of the fuel now we are on the high sulfur so we have to put uh, the low sulfur 
Alfalfa content, so we will change now. Uh, okay, so we are using 2.9, yeah? change to 0 0.19. Right? So we will use this arrow to go down. Yeah. Side by side, we can see the actual value. Yeah. So we have to go to 0.49% of sulfur content. Yeah. So okay. now we are 0.49 and now we will put apply. Yeah. Yeah, already. So now we can see we are already have put the value of low sulfur, so that is 0.49. Yeah. Here, here, here. So here we have to wait for the temperature to fall down. Uh, so here you can see the temperature is around 118, 119 degrees. So since we have changed uh, the sulfur content from high sulfur to low sulfur, these value will start dropping. And then uh, equal to the C in the cooler. Yes. Uh, this will uh, be around 80 to 85 degrees, same as uh, cylinder jacket to cooling water temperature. Yeah, alright. So we'll wait, this will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes. We will pay, we will wait for that and then we will go to the control panel in the, which is situated in purifier room and we will uh, proceed with the changing over. Okay. Uh, actually, we can change over from here also, right? Actually, we can change from here since yeah. uh, in the morning time itself, we change the auxiliary engine to the low sulfur. So all the valves are already open. So we'll wait a little bit, 5 to 10 minutes for the temperature to cool down and then we will uh, proceed with uh, changing over. Okay. As you can see now, the jacket temperature is already uh, dropping down to the required temperatures. So we are proceeding to the beautifier room where the control panel of the booster system located. So we will take, take over the control from uh, remote to local. Yes? Yes. Okay, it's not protect of yeah. First thing what we have to do, we have to take the counters. Counters. Yeah. We will take her counters. Total for the total. 8860.343. This was for the main engine. Now we will take our auxiliary engine. Two, two, three, eight, eight. Now we will go to the home page and now we will press, now we are on high sulfur oil. So now we will change to low sulfur oil. So it's asking for confirmation. Do we need to change the oil? Yes. So you, have, you can see it has started drinking. So it means it has started changing from high sulfur to low sulfur. Okay, now, now. This is the changing over valve. These are the three valves. This is diesel oil, high sulfur and low sulfur. So no more open. Yeah. So these valves are always yeah. open. Now you can see this is the two-way valve. Now it's on the high sulfur and slowly, slowly it will go to the low sulfur. No sulfur. So this one high sulfur, yeah. Yes, this one is high sulfur. Yeah. So slowly this you can do it from here, yeah? Yeah, it will it's go from... It's automatic van open, yeah? Yes. There is no sulfur mixing. 
Can this one uh, flow this uh, eight double? It will flow yeah. maybe fuel oil, and then it will allow only low no sulfur to go to the supply pump for for the main engine. Okay. Blinking and this one will be take over. About how many minutes? It, uh, the time duration is not fixed. It depends upon the density of the oil. It depends upon uh, other factors. How is the oil? Normally, it, it may take uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Ah, okay. Uh, so you need to adjust some steam. Anything? Yeah, so after, now we are already in low sulfur oil, so we can close the, the steam tracing for uh, high sulfur oil. Uh, it's a uh, steam tracing, eh? Yeah, this is a steam tracing for high sulfur. So this needs to be closed. This is inlet. Now this is already closed. Yes, yes. Okay. And this is the outlet. We are closing outlet as yes. well. This one very important, eh? Yes. So this is the cylinder oil, so this also we need to change from uh, high sulfur to low sulfur. So open the low sulfur. Yeah. Along with the, the main engine uh, fuel oil counters, the auxiliary engine fuel oil counters, we will also take the counters for uh, cylinder oil. Yeah. Uh, okay. And now we can monitor from here. Eh? Uh, not that uh, completed chain over. Okay guys, after accumulation of chain over, make sure that the actual consumption of the system should be higher than calculated consumption. For example here, actual consumption of the main engine is 5.6, while the calculated requires is 4.8. As you have seen, our vessel installed with the Anfalavan fuel booster system. So, during chain over, the system will automatically uh, control the fuel noise temperatures every two minutes reducing one degrees so in case your system is manually turn over please control the fuel noise temperatures properly especially 
if you change over from high sulfur fuel noise to M0, fuel noise temperature should be monitoring uh, so that the viscosity to be controlled in a normal range to prevent the seizing of fuel injectors and fuel pumps. Because when M0 working at high temperatures, the lubrication effect will be reduced and the metals, touching metals, may be occurs and damage the ejectors belongs of fuel pump for the MC engine. As my experience, we will only change the M0 when the fuel noise system temperatures are below the 90 degrees. And also the main engine load should be uh, lower than 50% to prevent the fast consumption of the MGO in the system. Okay guys, thank you for watching my video today. See you in next videos.